when we're looking at pullbacks, so just a quick example of what I mean when we're in a trending market, whether that's down or up, how to identify when we're seeing a pullback. Um, so with these markets, we're looking for a trending market. So you can draw your support and resistance, whether that's down or up. We're looking for high volume in the direction of the trend with widespread candles, followed by low volume on the pullback. OK, so that's high volume in the direction of the trend with widespread candles with low volume on the pullback. So let's see what an example of that looks like. So here we've got dollar CAD clearly in a downtrend. Um, and I've grayed out the areas where we see moves in the direction of the trend coupled with high or ultra high volume. OK, so here we've got some some uh, large price candles coupled with volume, high volume, high volume, move downwards. These are all in the direction of the trend with levels of high volume. Um, in between these shaded areas, we see the pullbacks, which are shown by the arrows. We can see that on these pullbacks, as I've shown by this decrease in white line, that volume is actually decreasing. So in between these moves in the direction of the trend, we're seeing greater volume. This is where institutions are selling into the pullbacks. But when the pullbacks begin, the volume reduces. Right, so it's understanding how we can read these, these market activity and, and try and enter on those pullbacks. That's exactly what institutions are doing. Here, the, here we see a pullback, and then we see a huge amount of selling coming down to the level of support. Again, pullback, look at the volume, just absolutely reduced down to the blues. And as we see some more activity, big move down on higher volume, and we'll keep seeing that. Now, obviously, when we're seeing these trending markets, they're not always as clear as this, but I mean, this was, I don't know what date this was. This wasn't too long ago. Um, so they, they are quite obvious to see, these pullbacks. So if we can understand when we're in a trending market, here we know that institutions are selling into this trend. Um, we can see that by the volume, they can't hide that. And we can also identify when a pullback is like to happen. We can see that it's a pullback because volume is reducing. So we want to wait until volume picks up on those down moves and trade in the same direction as the institutions. Mm -hmm.